Good day. MS-DOS, or rather Microsoft Disk Operating System, was an operating system that was fairly popular from the late 80s throughout the 1990s. Now the one thing to remember about MS-DOS is that it does not simply refer to a singular operating system, but rather an entire family of operating systems. Now DOS has had many famous games released for it, like this game here, Rise of the Triad, a rather enjoyable FPS that was the first to have rather ludicrous gibs, and of course, Doom. This game outshined just about every other game that was ever released for DOS. Now getting a DOS game to run on a modern PC is virtually impossible, and that's because modern PCs just aren't really set up to run those kind of games. But that is where DOSBox comes in. Okay, before I get to the tutorial proper, I have to say I feel really, really old right now. DOSBox is a DOS emulation program, meaning that this operating system is so old that it requires an emulator to actually run. What is this, the Commodore 64? Or the bloody Sinclair? Ugh, anyway, back to the emulator. Like many who have used DOS in the past, when I first opened this program, I uttered something along the lines of... Uh... and stared blankly at the screen. However, getting DOS to run is fairly easy, provided you actually know what to do first. Before using the program, you need to first go to the C drive and create a folder labeled DG. This is where you're going to put all of your DOS games. Now, whenever you put a game in here, you need to just use two or so initials for the game. Like for Doom, we have just DM here. Or for Heretic, HT. Or an easy to remember ROTT for Rise of the Triad. So after that's done, the first thing you want to type in is mount C, C, semicolon, backslash, DG. Then C, semicolon, backslash. Now you have access to the DOS games folder. Now to see what's in there, you just have to type DIR. This will give you a list of all the games in the DOS games folder. Now to access the game, type in CD, whatever the game name may or may not be. For this, we will use Rise of the Triad, so it will be CDROTT. CD stands for Change Directory, so what you are doing is moving from the DOS games directory to the Rise of the Triad directory. Now if you want to see what's in that directory, just type in DIR again. When you first add a DOS game, you're going to need to enter Setup. Now what you're going to want to do here is go down to Configure Sounds. Here you're just going to have to fiddle around a bit until you get it to work, as all computers will differ considerably. Now when it comes to sounds, some computers will have better sound quality than others. For example, my laptop has better music quality than my main machine. Now with all that being said, to run the game, most of the time you just need to type in the directory name, like here, just type in ROTT. Now this will sometimes differ, like with Heretic. You can't just type in HT, you have to type in Heretic. Now if you're ever stuck with what to type in, just type DEER and look for the EXE file because that is what you have to type in. And let's face it, having it up there makes it a lot easier to spell. And that's really all that goes into DOSBox. Now, there are a few other troubleshooting things you can do. You can increase the speed, which is what you're going to have to do for some games. And also, there's a key mapper. Now, one other thing that you can do is you can use CDs with the emulator, but you really won't have to, as most DOS games are fairly easy to find and download. But, just in case, here's how to do it. First, type in mount, D, D semicolon backslash, and the D semicolon backslash again, and dear, find install, type install, and that's that. When you look at DOS, it's a completely different way of thinking. I mean, today we're used to just pointing and clicking, but this was all text-based, and it is really hard to go back to that type of operating system. What's really bad is when I was younger, I actually knew how to use this operating system. So much so that I was able to program a little menu system so that I didn't have to type in all of those bloody characters. Don't bother asking me how I did it, because I don't have any idea. Now for next time, I'm going to be taking a look at Doom DS. Come on, it's on every single platform known to man. 
I bet in the 41st millennium they're going to still be playing in other bloody Ossipexes. But for now, this is General Oz wishing you good, heretic. Good, heretic too. And good hexen. Or whatever makes you happy.